Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I just wanted to talk to you a bit about how I 3D printed a rocket nose cone. Just here, I have a final nose cone for the rocket, which was 3D printed on the Creality Ender 3. Uh, this nose cone was originally going to be made from fiberglass, so you can see the first half of the mould here. Um, so you can imagine two halves of this bolted together with tons of tiny little screws uh, well, not tiny little screws, sorry, fairly big screws. <laughs> um, and then the fiberglass would have been laid inside of it and infused with the epoxy. However, my dad strongly recommended that I 3D printed it instead because the carbon, f sorry, the fiberglass uh, would have taken much longer, uh, would have looked far less perfect, um, and overall just would have been a huge pain. So that's why I decided to 3D print it. So the whole thing weighs 65 grams and is about 2 millimeters thick. Um, I believe it was about a 15 hour print, so I did it during the day while I was out. Um, as you can see, I've got three layers of electrical tape around here, which gives it a nice friction fit inside of the main rocket body. So it's not going to fall out during flight uh, until it's meant to when the um, parachutes go off. Once it was printed, it was far from finished, so it was a light grey colour. I printed it with uh, grey PLA+. Plus. However, I wasn't happy with all the lines in it, it wasn't very smooth, so I wet sanded it down to 600 grit, and then I spray painted it with this uh, gloss grey that you can see here. However, I still wasn't happy with it, um, because you could still see the lines in it, regardless of the 600 grit wet sanding. Um, so I wet sanded it to 600 grit once again, um, so I sanded most of the paint off and that made it extremely smooth. When running my fingers over I couldn't feel any bumps. Uh, so then I spray painted it again, uh, as you can see, with the same uh, shiny grey. And that gave me this beautiful shiny look here. So there is a few imperfections in it here and there. Uh, but overall, for my first time doing something like this, I'm very happy with it. This video is the first in a series of fairly short two or three minute videos uh, where I'm going to explain individual parts of the rocket, um, how I did them, what purpose they serve, things like that. Um, so if you're interested in the project and seeing how I've made different sections of the project, uh, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, like the video, leave a comment if there's anything you want to ask me. I'm happy to chat about anything, anytime. Uh, find me on social media, Twitter for daily updates, uh, Instagram I post less often but there's still some really cool things there. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching the video, I'll see you next time.